beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah sing you are good you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah hallelujah For the last time now you are good lord he is good and his mercies are forever subject of death and the issue of longevity and um, the concept of life has for many years and centuries been a subject of debate and a subject of concern because it's something that seems to happen to the entire human race Death is something that seems to have um, a power and a force that looks like it cannot be restrained. When it comes upon a person or a family or a territory, it seems to just take them. And human beings have tried to negotiate with death and they found out that you cannot buy long life. You cannot lobby yourself into long life. And so that, that inevitable reality of this system of death has forced mankind to respond in different ways. Others through fear, others through all kinds of mechanisms. And um, particularly for the church, it's been a subject of concern. Is there... A formula for long life is there a principle is there some sort of guarantee please pay attention tonight can a man actually make a bold claim about longevity or are we to just walk and hope that someday 
death will just come and whenever it comes it can take us this has been a great source of confusion in the body of Christ there are those who are of the opinion that um, you know this is what the Bible says and this and that and there are others who have all kinds of stories you know of well-meaning loving believers pastors ministers of the gospel who have died and um, in all kinds of things sicknesses have claimed the lives of people accidents acts of terrorism and so on and so forth and so this the complexity of death is something that in spite of the civilization of mankind and the many centuries of evolution it's a question that has been at the heart of almost everyone what is the guarantee that this may not be my last night what is the guarantee that i can plan for 20 years and successfully execute it this has led many people for instance into being irresponsible because they feel there is no point laboring going to school paying the price getting a job getting married having kids and then dying and leaving people and so on and so forth and others have um, come up with all kinds of formula i can tell you even for ministers of the gospel it's been a difficult subject um, to teach congregations because as a minister of the gospel you are exposed to all the sides of life you have to attend funerals you have to comfort families at the same time um, you will have to be there at baby the birth of new ones dedications marriages and all of that so on one side you have your members crying at the transition of one and then on one side they are celebrating the incoming of another on one side there is a divorce happening on another side people are celebrating the bliss of marriage so all of these these extremities make um the work of ministry particularly very difficult hallelujah and we must be able to draw strength from the truth of God's word so tonight as instructed by the Lord I want to teach us certain things I want us to discuss on the subject of longevity to give us hope courage and to build faith in us say amen before I start like I said earlier on let me express my heartfelt condolence to many of us who have at one point or the other experience the demise of a loved one i can tell you this that it is really really very painful there are people who have lost father others mothers others both parents others you know and if i'm to ask every one of us to come and hold the mic and say one or two things many of us may have tear dropping stories tragic memories of things that happen surrounded the death of our loved ones and so on and so forth and um the goal tonight is not to get us emotional the goal tonight is not to um, create a lot of questions in our mind and create a platform for debate the goal tonight is an attempt to look from the vista of the Word of God and draw up keys to be able to guide us and to show us like a compass that there is a pathway to longevity hallelujah praise the Lord Psalm 91 verse 16 you are my hiding place you always fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever i am afraid i will trust in you I will trust in you Let the weak say I am strong In the strength of the Lord I will trust in you trust in you so let the weak say I 
I am strong in the strength of the Lord. He is your hiding place. He will always fill your heart with song. Of deliverance Whenever you are Afraid You should trust in Him That's what He expects You should trust in Him And let the weak Say I Hallelujah. I want to share a few thoughts. Number one, the first thing I want us to know about let's start from Jeremiah 29. Let's start from there. Jeremiah 29. Let's be fast. There are lots of scriptures we're going to look at because I want to establish a few things. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Are we there? Okay. One to read, everyone is projected. This is the part that I want us to focus on tonight. To give you a what? An expected end. A predictable end. Please listen to me. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. These thoughts that I think towards you, they are thoughts of good. The Bible says, finally, brethren, Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are noble, if there be any good report, if there be any virtue and, and any praise, he said, think on these things. And so God is saying, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. He said they are thoughts of good and not of evil. This is God speaking. And those thoughts are particularly designed to give you an expected end. A predictable end. Not an unexpected end. Not an unpredictable end. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thoughts that I think towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. Hallelujah. Point number one. The first point I want us to get tonight is that God's desire and plan for us is to live our lives here on earth to the fullest god's desire and god's plan for us according to scripture is to live our lives here on earth to the fullest psalm 91 verse 16 please very quickly write down that point and then we'll look at a few scriptures god's desire and plan is for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Psalm 91 verse 16, please. Everyone read, one, two, read. One more time. This is the Bible. This is the truth of God's word. It says, for with long life, Will I give him? Did he say, will I give him? That means there is a satisfaction that comes when a man enjoys longevity. Are you getting blessed? It says, for with long life will I satisfy him and in it I will show him my salvation. 
Number two, Exodus chapter 23, verse 26. Please, media, you'll be really fast. You'll help us. There are lots of scriptures to look at, and all of them are important. We're establishing the first point tonight that it is God's desire and plan for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Exodus 23, verse 26. 23, 26. Hallelujah. Everyone read. The number of thy days I will fulfill. The number of thy days. There is an appointment with long life. There is an appointment from the throne. From eternity before you came. And it says the number of your days, I will fulfill it. So that's the first point I want us to establish tonight. And listen, people, I want you to realize that um, I'm a human being. I understand that many of us are receiving this point with heavy hearts because you are comparing this truth of God's word versus the reality that for some of us have happened in recent times and for all of us as a house having to mourn the transition of our dear one but the bible says forever O lord thy word is settled a believer is not just one who has given his heart to the lord a believer is one who has submitted to the authority of god's word as the final say regardless of your experience this is what makes you a believer is you are not a believer just because you were born again you are a believer because you have come to a point where you have chosen willfully to allow the word of god take precedence and become the final authority over your life say amen do you believe what i'm teaching you you must realize that you are not just a believer because you got born again and you are going to heaven you are a believer like a wife who submits to her husband even if she does not like the way he's behaving even if she does not understand her covenant of marriage her covenant of being with him will force her to submit sometimes he may beat her he may be a foolish man but she has chosen as a submissive wife that i will submit to his authority and i will bear his son name that's what it means to be a believer to be a believer is not to love god when you can explain things to be a believer is that in the midst of your joy in the midst of your tears in the midst of your clarity in the midst of confusion regardless of what happens in your life the word of god stands irrefutable and unarguable in your life is god speaking to us are we growing as believers this is a very mature teaching tonight if you do not come to a point where you exalt the word of god above your life you will backslide and you will run away from god that's why we have many atheists today many of them were church children many of them were folks in baptist and presbyterian churches but their lives were surrounded by so much confusion and because they think that god has to be boxed to the limitation of their finite minds after a prolonged period of disappointment that disappointment builds a mentality and a stronghold that permits the operation of demon spirits and their conclusion is that god is a liar and their conclusion is that the bible is not true their conclusion is something is wrong there is a deceit somewhere but the bible says the lord is gracious and compassionate is slow to anger rich in love from everlasting to everlasting he says thou art god hallelujah it is god's desire for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest do you believe that point number two make sure you're writing point number two the bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time the bible did not hide it from us it didn't leave it as a secret is clearly stated in the bible that it is possible that although this is the desire 
it is absolutely possible supported by scripture that a man can die before his time open bracket and write this especially if we do not diligently engage the keys that guarantee long life open bracket and write this especially if we do not diligently engage the keys that guarantee long life this is a very hard teaching for many of us tonight but it will test your love for god the bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time ecclesiastes 7 17 quickly ecclesiastes 7 17 and psalm 55 verse 23 we'll look at those ecclesiastes 7 17 the bible also teaches us under this point that the life of a man can be added and can be subtracted not only can the life be cut short the bible shows us that someone's life can be added to and someone's life can be subtracted 717 ecclesiastes hallelujah okay let's just let's just turn while they're trying to help her okay hallelujah go ahead and read everyone one to read why should thou die before your time we are still going to revisit this verse it says be not over much wicked neither be thou foolish why should thou what die it's a question it's just the, the b part i want us to focus on why it's a question that means it is a possibility that although these are the provisions the same way god designed for everyone to be prosperous the bible says that um how did he put it now he says the proceed of the earth is for the profit in of all but there are people today who love god and they are still poor is that true there are people today who love god and cannot afford to feed their children but it does not stop the fact that god is a loving god and he has shown a formula for prosperity why should thou die before your time so the bible shows us that it is a possibility that a man can die before his time psalm 55 verse 23 55 verse 23 are we there all right go ahead and read everyone those outside we apologize looks like they are not seeing the projection but just follow us very carefully one to read shall bring them down into the pit of destruction bloody and deceitful men shall not live out what half their days they will not even live up to half their days now forget that he's talking about wicked people i'm just showing you that there is a possibility that life can be added can be cut short can be multiplied can be divided can be subtracted this is the infallible word of god hallelujah so although God's desire and plan is for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest, the Bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time. Point number three. This is a hard one now. Receive grace to receive it. Ready? The Bible re reveals that God is never behind us dying before our time. write it down the bible reveals that god is never behind us dying before our time isaiah 65 verse 20 hallelujah you have won the victory hallelujah you have won it 
it all for me Death could not hold you behind us dying before our time 65 verse 20 of isaiah go ahead and read one to read nor an old man that had not what go ahead and read this is the prophet speaking the mind of god to the people of god it says, there shall be no more infant of days, nor an old man that had not filled his days. For a child shall die a hundred years old. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says, but as many as believed him, he gave them power to become. As many as believed him, he gave them power to become. Hallelujah. One more scripture. Ezekiel 18 verse 32 Ezekiel Shiva Kataparoto Suprati Go ahead and read One to read Stop For what? One more time One more time This is God speaking One more time Read on Do you believe this? Please, listen, 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 listen. I'm a human being. Are you getting me? I understand the reality. I understand the pain. I, I understand the gravity. Are you getting me? Of, of um, You will only need to be a leader to understand what it means to manage tragic issues in families. And this is consistent. I have been to mortuaries. I have prayed for people. We have lost loved ones in far and near. And all kinds of things have happened. But I choose to be a believer. I choose to be a believer. I lift my hands in worship. As I sing. Praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing. Praises to your name. It says, 
for I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth. Say it who? Say it prophet Ezekiel. Say it the Lord God. Wherefore, as a result of the above, turn yourselves and leave ye. Next point. This is a very serious one and I want us to pay attention to it. Ready? Satan, comma, the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals, kills, and destroys. John 10, 10, please. Satan, the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals, kills, and destroys. Write this before we look at the scripture in continuation. He has strategies through which he achieves this mission. Satan the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals kills and destroys he has strategies through which he achieves this mission continue writing topmost among the strategies are sicknesses suicides accidents write it down most among these strategies are sicknesses you can write afflictions too suicide accidents these are his most common strategy of attempting to cut short lives these are his most common strategies 95% 95% of the transitions and the demise of human beings from the earth is as a result of sicknesses and infirmities, suicides, accidents of all sorts, fire, all kinds of things, destruction. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not, meaning you never see him in a place until there is need for this mission the thief cometh not meaning he has no business coming to a place except to do this to steal and to kill and to destroy but Jesus the son of the living God said I am come that ye may have life and that they may have it more abundantly the thief Satan there are many names that he's given in the Bible. He's given the serpent. He's given the dragon. He's given the thief. He's called the accuser of the brethren. He's called the adversary. He's called the destroyer. And Satan has a strategy. Please let me have your attention now. Satan has a strategy. There is a series by the grace of God on angels. That we are going to be teaching subsequently. And under that series of angels, I'm going to be teaching us on the origin of angels. And we are going to examine this man or this entity called Satan. Praise the Lord. I want us to look very carefully in that series. There are a few things about Satan we cannot discuss it today but just a teaser. Do you know now many of you are going to be surprised but do you know that of all wicked spirits Satan is not the most dangerous. There are spirits today who are bound in everlasting chain they were deliberately not released because the bible says if they are released even the elect will not stand 
the question is at what point were they bound and what did they do hallelujah when you begin to read don't turn there the book of ezekiel 28 the bible begins to speak of an ancient king we don't have all that time to talk about the formation and the structure of angels look up many of us think and many of us have been taught that angels were created angels no no the word angel comes from the greek word angelio and it means a messenger let me tell you a few things look up please when ezekiel the prophet was shown this guy called lucifer the bible begins to talk with him in a similitude of a mortal man that was a king over nations and over kingdoms is that true is, are, are you a believer you believe the bible is that true is raises up a lamentation against a king that ruled over a place called tyre and says thou which subdued nations talked about the making of satan and then he said how that he ruled nations and territories inhabitants in the earth present at that time watch this let me just give you a quick analogy everyone look up this is an academic environment so let me attempt to communicate a few things i think it's important we get this look look at this imagine for instance that there was a student when our daddy prof was a student let's assume right that there was a notorious student at that point during the time of our daddy when he was in school are you getting that point and that notorious criminal had access to the senate please follow me a notorious criminal are you getting what i'm saying and because of that something happened at that time watch this that notorious criminal was banished as a student because of a rebellion that he wanted to have against the university and the vice chancellor are you getting me now because probably he was given the privilege of being an SUG president. And so he had some level of dominance over the students. Are you following what I'm saying now? On the strength of that, he led a rebellion. As at the time he did that, daddy was a student. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now he is long graduated. But that notorious Capone is still lingering around ABU. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now after so many decades a new set comes into that same abu are you getting my point and then you hear that people there is one notorious criminal that has been here this guy has been here for a long time are you getting what i'm saying he's an illegal occupant he's not a student but he has refused to leave that territory watch out for him he has an advantage of experience because he has watched many sets of students u61 u62 u60 whatever till now you are you or something and they are giving you an advice that you are not the first occupant of abu are you hearing what i'm saying that abu that's why when you measure it you find out that you are young but they tell you abu is 50 years whereas you are just four years are, are you getting my analogy is it making sense to you when he was the student he was not the most notorious student he was just the one that led a rebellion and it became history there are other notorious students cultists that were driven away are you getting what i'm saying but it so happens that this very notorious student is determined to frustrate the council and the agenda of the university now watch this let me tell you something I don't know if this is the right platform to begin to teach us but we'll have that series by the grace of God did you know that angels were once mortal beings are you getting what I'm saying now there was a dispensation that they reigned upon the earth their dispensation ended and the ones who are with Christ have been sent as messengers to help our dispensation. 
just like imagine that jesus comes now i hope you know when jesus comes our dispensation is ended but the program of god still proceeds we do not yet know for sure what are the other agendas but we know the bible tells us there is a there is an age to come and there is a power that is left for that age to come and by reason of alignment we can taste of that power what age we do not know the word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations so i guarantee you we will be the last of mankind as we know in this level of civilization but not the last as far as creation as far as as advancement as far as habitation and the humanoid species as we know who knows maybe in another dispensation we will be sent to other planets and galaxies according to the wisdom of god if allowed and we will be able to help the inhabitants to live out the purposes of god in that dispensation they will call us angels I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Now watch this. When we get to heaven, there will not the bible does not record the concept of marriage does not exist again in heaven is that true so if in the earth in my earth life for instance this was my wife these were our children when we get to heaven we all become brothers and sisters are you getting what i'm saying we all become brothers and sisters i can appear in another dispensation to help the inhabitants and they can look at me and say wow who is this strange being but they do not know that there was a dispensation that you walk with human life it is this aberration that was that was cornered that brought what people call the mystery of reincarnation this is what some of the fallen angels taught people and taught our forefathers and said forget the people you are seeing now they have been before listen the dispensation before our own there was a tremendous degree of power that was given to them there was nothing called invisible and visible that concept did not exist are you getting my point the dispensations before us you could access the heavens and access the earth now it so happened that our dispensation disobeyed right from the beginning so Adam did not stay long for us to see the possibilities that were put in our dispensation we never had the opportunity to see what we could do for instance there was no dispensation that recorded reproduction they recorded rulership and they recorded who knows if adam did not fall and eve we would have had the opportunity because he still would have given birth you understand he would have given birth in his perfected state we would have seen the son of adam a womb that has not been corrupted by the fallen nature that's why in all of the dispensations is only our dispensation that brought Jesus the son of the living God to come and die please let's continue that's for another time I'm just trying to show you that the one you call Satan Lucifer he was once a king in a dispensation hmm. the king of Tyre that ruled upon nations that's the reason why those spirits still walk upon kings today and try to make them build what used to be are you getting me now those spirits together with Satan were the brains behind the building of the tower of Babel they were attempting to bring back a dispensation to create a rebellion that once was that was why solomon in his wisdom said there is nothing on earth that is happening the first time you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah 
You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Geography today, geography, they have found castles thousands of meters under the earth. They have found ancient castles. Did you know that there was a dispensation where, where we are standing now was water, not land? The same way that place, where is the Mount of Ararat? Where the, the Ark of Noah rested? Where is it in the earth today? We know Everest to be the highest. Where is Mount Ararat? Where are the golds? Where is the temple of Solomon that was built with pure gold? You mean everything disappeared that we cannot even find dust of gold? Let me tell you, most of them are still intact. They are buried in the sea. Because the judgment that led the word darkness covering the earth is the Hebrew word tohu wa bohu. It's the word that connotes darkness and confusion. Right in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That beginning we do not know. But then we know that something happened. And then the earth was dark and void. Formless. It was the judgment. Are you getting me? The water had to be judged. And then it also had to cool the earth. That was why there was a division. Two thirds of the earth is covered with water. And when you read revelations when one of the trumpets is blown one of the things that will be happened will happen to the earth is that there will be certain kinds of plagues and judgments i'm saying all of this to let you know that satan has a history the strength of satan is not his might because he's not the strongest of spirits the strength of satan is an advantage of a spiritual strategy backed up by an ancient wisdom of deceit Are we blessed very quickly keys to long life the first thing I want you to know about the keys to long life is you do not choose one and leave the rest they all complement themselves you don't choose one key and then allow the rest to go no there are keys there are keys Number one, the first key to long life that the Bible reveals is speaking, choosing, releasing words of life. Psalm 34, verse 12 to 14. And then we'll look at Proverbs 18, verse 21. Psalms 34, 12 to 14, and then Proverbs 18, verse 1. The first key to long life is to speak it. The first key to long life is to choose it. The first key to long life is to release it. Hallelujah. Ready? Look up. Let's read Psalm 34 verse 12. One to read. What man is he that desireth what? Life. And loveth what? Many days that he may see good. Read on. Keep what? There is a relationship. Stop between your tongue its communication and your life the bible says who is it that desire long life it says keep your tongue from evil and your lips from what speaking guile 14 depart from evil and do good seek peace and pursue it the emphasis is 12 and 13 who is he koinonia that desires long life i don't die you oh. The Bible says, who is he that desires long life? Don't just laugh about what I'm saying. Because whether you think you are joking or not, the Bible says, and let it not be said before an angel, I made a mistake. Who is he that wants to activate longevity? It says, keep the... Please go to verse 13. 13, 13, 13. It says, keep thy tongue from what and your lips keep your tongue 
I know many of you have said, Kai, people have begged, they are exaggerating. Why do you want to speak? Please be real. You be real in the earth way, you will die like a chicken. Your reality must be the word. He says, I am the way. I am reality. I am absolute reality. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18, 21. can we read proverbs 18 verse 21 one to read what will they eat the fruit of what no 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 it's in your bible it says they that love it shall do what death and life this is Solomon, a man who received wisdom from God. He's teaching us from the abundance of the mysteries that he was granted access to. And he said, in my exploration of spiritual mysteries, I found something. Death and life are left in the power of the tongue. They that love it shall eat the fruit there. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? The Bible says, I set before you this day blessing and cursing. Is that true? Death and life. Here's my suggestion. I can't force you, but this is my suggestion. Choose life that you may live. Not wish it. Choose life. Koinonia. Choose life that you may live. Are you still a believer? Choose life that you may live. Choose life. I set before you blessing and cursing. I set before you death and life. But this is my advice for you. Choose life. I speak life. Oh my brother. I speak life Head and not the tail You will prevail I speak life Don't give up the fight For your life Hallelujah Everybody say after me I choose life outside can you shout it i choose life those standing at the back the back there can you say i choose life don't let the devil tell you i hope you know what you're saying say it i choose life he said let the redeemed of the lord say so let the redeemed of the lord say so conquer fear i choose life when you speak you release it this is a voice activated planet nothing happens until sound is released I choose life send it to the atmosphere I choose life send it ahead of your tomorrow I choose life the will of man cannot be compromised hallelujah listen Jesus said behold I Jesus the king of kings the creator of the ends of the earth I stand at the door of your heart and I keep knocking. I cannot enter until your will permits me. As mighty as Jesus is, he respects the will of man. How much more Satan? Jesus, the son of the living God, the resurrected Christ, the eternal one, stands at the door of a man's heart and keeps knocking for 60 years. If that man refuses, he goes to hell. But he was knocking. So what do you think makes you think that Satan just steps into your heart? It's called deception. This is the foundation of witchcraft. It paints a picture that is not real. It makes you to buy into it and you authorize him to wreak havoc in your life. Say it again, I choose life. Say it again, I choose life. Death and life, I 
the power of the tongue. Key number two. Can you pray in tongues for one minute? And say, Lord, let this revelation just sink into me. If the devil brings the memories of your past loved ones, tell him, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. I know they are in heaven. But right now I'm making my choice and my decision. Don't let the devil just bring any memory to put guilt. And say, did they speak like that? Say, Satan, you are a liar. The Lord rebuke you. I choose life. Hallelujah. Are you blessed tonight? Write very quickly, everybody. Key number two to longevity. The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. Biblical key number two to longevity. Under the word fear, write reverence. Reverence. The fear, open bracket, reverence of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 27. Proverbs 10 27. Proverbs 10, 27. Everyone read. One, two, read. The fear of the Lord. Yirat Adonai. Reverence for God. Respect for Him. Honor for Him and His ways and what He represents. Prolongs days. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The Bible says the fear of the Lord. There are two indexes given in the Bible to measure the fear of the Lord in a man's life. Number one, obedience to his commands. And number two, service in the house of God. Obedience and service are two keys that demonstrate whether or not you fear the Lord. Obedience. Obedience. Oh, I love him. I obey him. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10 to 11. I just want to praise you. I lift my hands to say I love you. You are everything to me. And I exalt your holy name. I Exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name on high. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Verse 11. For by me days shall be what and the years of thy life shall be increased and so the Lord spoke to Isaiah he said go and tell Hezekiah you will not recover from that sickness you will die and Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and said oh Lord remember how I have walked diligently before you and the Lord sent Isaiah again. He said, uh, 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 uh. I remember my faithfulness. And he went back and said, the Lord said, I have added for by me Joshua Selman's days shall be multiplied and the years of his life shall be increased. Obedience and service when we talk to people about obeying the principles of God many people think that I can live my life the way I want longevity brothers and sisters hear me don't let westernization deceive you longevity is tied to your fear of the Lord service there are so many people seated here inside and outside you're not serving in any unit you're not contributing in any way to the advancement of the kingdom 
I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. Amen. That's a scripture there. You will live to declare. You will live to promote. You will live to frontier his kingdom. Let me tell you this. My passion under the apostolic ministry is not just to produce miracles in people's lives. It's to create a sense. My passion is to institutionalize God consciousness in people. To make it an institution. That everything in your life, brothers and sisters, is secondary to the pursuit of his agenda. I don't care whether you have discovered your assignment or not. I can tell you an assignment. Start serving diligently in the house of God. Don't you let people fool you to think those who serve in the house of God are just weak people who are desperate for husband. Say, Kai, you serve. Eh? The way you are behaving, don't let anyone cheat you. There are people who live their lives as though you control your life by yourself. Hallelujah. When five minutes without your breath, you are gone. It doesn't matter what your agenda is. It's over. The greatest part of a man's life is that part that is invested in serving God. That's how you cheat death. That's how you cheat the grave. That's how you cheat death. You don't cheat death by being afraid of it. You cheat death by serving God victorious in life and victorious in death Paul says for for me to live is Christ and if I die it is still gain there is no loss hallelujah as you are sitting here the Lord is speaking to you you are living your life as young as you are you think you are too busy there are many of you outside as you are looking at my face the Lord Jesus is speaking to you tonight I'm saying you are the one I'm sending this man of God to talk to when will you begin to serve God with the active years of your life? Say, I'm not a man of God, I'm a pilot, so what? That my life be offered, oh God, on the altar of sacrifice. That I will serve you. I told God, this is all I do with my life. I don't have plan B. When I wake up in the morning, your kingdom come, oh God. That's all I do. Are you getting blessed? Service is one of your greatest respect that you can do for God. I'll serve. I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve. I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best With all my life, I'll do my best for you I'll do my best, I'll do my best I'll do my best for you Sing it one more time from your heart I'll serve, I'll serve I'll serve you Lord forever I'll serve I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord. It's only a fool that will live his life hustling. I must make it. As though you hold the breath of your nostrils in your hands. You go to churches and see how many people warm the bench every week. And there is no sense of conviction in them to serve God. That there's no service for the kingdom. It's not part of their lives. They come and they warm the bench. And smile around. And you tell them, are you serving? Any believer that is not serving in a church. Not serving in a group. Your seed is not going for the advancement of the kingdom. You don't deserve to live. He says, I shall not die but live. There is a way a man's life can frontier the kingdom. God will kill a nation to preserve that man.
I travel all the time. Don't you think I don't know what I'm saying? Tomorrow we are on our way again to be there. All the time. I've seen all varieties of accidents. I've seen all kinds of things. I've seen all kinds of seeming threatening situations. We have met armed robbers. We were going to um, when we were going to Ogomosho, our flight was cancelled. We had to charter a car to take us by road. We left about 4.30 in the morning. Just coming out of Abuja, Abaji, going towards, just entering the routes to go towards Kogi. And we saw somebody reversing. They were armed robbers. Brothers and sisters, this gentleman speaking to you, I'm not a fool. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm educated. But I want to tell you something. The fear of the Lord can prolong the days of a man. That you spend your life serving God. During the days of our fathers, the popular song is, Lord, here am I, send me. Right now, we are saying, Lord, here am I, give me. I have come. I finally arrived to collect. See, let me tell you, don't just laugh. If you keep that mentality and it becomes the circumference of your Christian experience, you will be unfruitful in the kingdom. I want to stand before my maker. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. I can only imagine what it would be like. Ah, what's the song? You know the song I'm trying to sing, right? Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine that on that day when I stand before him, when we are finally done and we have conquered the earth, depopulated the kingdom of hell and brought, turned the heart of many to righteousness, that through faith, after we have subdued kingdoms and wrought righteousness, we will stand upon the mountain and salute creation. And say Lord I am ready and you appear before him to be absent in the body the apostle says is to be present with the Lord and he looks at you and says well done you tried and they take on that crown and you see all the Matthias saying we watched you all the while while you were in that crusade we watched you while you refused to give up as you were casting out those devils the family in heaven was watching for some of us while you were roaming around gossiping and all that was your passion was oh god husband time is going god said we, we were watching you too i am a life that was changed thank you for giving to the lord i am so glad you came we were in your life a few weeks ago and when we went there, the organizer of the, the campus could say, when he met me, I saw the way he was saluting me. And I said, I was wondering, what was this for? And he called me and he said, sir, about three years or thereabout, when you came into this campus, I was just a fresh student when I came in. And when you preached, I got born again. I got filled with the Holy Spirit. And today I'm still standing and doing many things. Every time people call and say koinonia messages are changing people. I say, Lord, thank you. I have no business being known. They don't need to know me. That I may decrease. That my face cannot heal anybody. My picture cannot bless anybody. There is one mightier than I. He's the one I live and I spend my entire life serving. Please, I speak to you as a servant of God tonight. Think about your life. Think seriously about your life. And the way you are ignoring the things of God as though there is something better. I'm not saying be a pastor. Be an addict enough. When was the last time your money entered the advancement of the gospel? How many souls can stand before God and say it was your giving that brought the men of God to this place? How many of you can say it was your prayer? You were interceding for every man of God. Not snoring around and complaining. 
many of you have sacrificed your night time for the sake of the kingdom? How many of you have sacrificed your food for the kingdom? The fear of the Lord. Let me tell you, vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. I have stood before kings. I have stood before millionaires. I know what honor sounds. I wouldn't trade you for silver or gold. Impossible. I wouldn't trade you for riches untold. You are, you are my. There is nothing in this life that will attract me enough to stop what I'm doing. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. The psalmist said, better is one day. I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'm so desperate to serve you. Although I'm a king, I choose to be an usher, a sanctuary keeper than a celebrity somewhere. These were men who understood God. They understood the ways there are some of you here you think you are too big to join the protocol you are too big to do this you see all the people sacrificing and you think they are fools unfortunately most preachers have preached service not as a proof of love for God but as a way to get things from God it is true that if they obey and serve him there are benefits but brothers and sisters hear me beyond getting things it is a proof of love so if your work is to bring this water you bring it with all sense of honor not just like you are worshiping a man oh it's a privilege to serve in the house of god it's a privilege if you are to clean the chairs you are cleaning the chairs and say lord it's a it's a privilege it's a privilege you can do without me you have chosen to do with me you are supposed to bake the cake you are seated and you know you have grace he said, no, I need to join the welfare department. I must spend my life. I, I need to contribute. You are excellent in graphic. Oh, the media needs me. Service. 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 Whether you are in Zaria or not, find a church. Find a group. Find a fellowship. Find a, a congregation of believers. Many of us are looking for Gio and Mama. That's the only condition you have given God to serve him. Lord, I will serve you if I will be the mama of the ministry. I will serve you if you give me the name of my parish. The name of your parish is nothing. Let it be your passion. Hallelujah. Are we getting blessed? I'm preaching from the depth and the core of my spirit. Because I don't want you to waste your time. Please get back into the mystery of kingdom service. Get back. You spend your time serving a guy because you love him. You go to his house. You wash his clothes. You cook. You iron. And he says, is it not too much? You say, this is the least I can do for you. Is it to express my love? I'm, I'm, I'm not embarrassed. Call me a fool. It's true. Eh? If loving you is a crime, let me be a criminal. Look at what you are saying. Look at what you are saying. Shame on any believer who is saying that. I'm telling you, I say it again. Shame on any believer. That because of mundane things you can so serve a man and your passion cannot go for God. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. Skapaka prondo sopro silia paharatu sufratia. Proverbs chapter 3. My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments verse 2 for length of days obedience length of days and long life together with peace shall they add to thee commandment he that loveth me is he that keeps my commands john 14 21 he that keepeth my commands is he that loveth me and i will love him and my father will love him and we will come and manifest ourselves to him the commands of God. His commandments are not burdensome, brothers and sisters. Let's hurry up. Key number three to long life. Engaging the mystery of the blood. Key 
key number three let's hurry up engaging the mystery of the blood with understanding engaging the mystery of the blood with understanding there are three ways that the mystery of the blood was used in scripture to bring preservation and deliverance number one in the book of exodus chapter 12 it was used to anoint the doorpost and the lintels so that the angel of death would not come and destroy the people hallelujah number two jesus revealed it to us in the communion the communion in the new testament he began to teach us the mystery of the communion and then number three the mystery of what the bible calls blood sprinkling that the priest would take a portion and a sample of the blood and sprinkle upon the people and it will mark them first corinthians chapter 11 from verse 24 to 30 we may not have time to read all but let's see how far we can go help us media first corinthians 11 verse 24 to 30 paul is teaching the church in corinth the mystery of the blood with respect to communion and when he had given thanks he break it and said take it this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me next verse it says after the same manner he took the cup here and there 25 26 for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup ye show the lord's death till he comes 27 wherefore whosoever now listen shall eat this bread and drink this cup unworthily open your eyes i want to show you a mystery unworthily it says this sacrament there are two sacraments that Jesus left to the church. One is the sacrament of the communion. The second is the sacrament of baptism. Water baptism. Two of them are still valid. They are important today. He says, Whosoever shall take up the cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of what? The body and the blood of the Lord. Here comes the mystery. 28. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily does what? He can eat and drink unto damnation because he did not discern that the body and bread of Jesus Christ relieves life. And because he's, he's eating it unworthily, he will get the opposite of it. Next verse 30. Read, please. One, two, read. Stop. For what cause? For the cause of partaking in the communion without discernment for this cause how many people how many how many people do you know have died today that they told you it was a communion that killed them have you ever had any death and they told you that ah this death it was communion that killed the man have, is it in your bible for this cause did he say few many many are weak for this cause, the cause of not discerning the Lord's body, the cause of not respecting it. For this cause of not giving it the honor, it says many are weak. You believe the Bible, right? Many are what? Sick. And many sleep. Wow. For this cause, trivializing the body of Christ, not discerning the power it can release not discerning that this represents the body of jesus beaten battered by whose stripes we are healed it says for this cause that means when you take it with understanding and you take it worthily for that cause you will be strong you will be healthy and you will live you will be strong you will be healthy and you will live Exodus chapter 12 from verse 7 to 8 
the mystery of the blood and then 12 to 13 we are not going there we don't have the time we have to move on to other things I'm just giving you references Exodus chapter 12 7 to 8 and then 12 to 13 and also verse 23 these are all scriptures that show how the blood upon the lintel and the doorpost when the angel of death the bible calls it the destroyer that when the destroyer comes and he sees that blood upon your lintel it will leave and trouble you not hallelujah praise the lord key number four honor to parents key number four let's be fast please honor to parents open bracket both physical and spiritual Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 2 to 3. Honor to parents. Both physical and spiritual are mystery keys to long life. One to read is projected. One to read. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. Verse 3. What's the blessing? That it may be well with thee and that thou mayest live long where it told you you will live long and it told you the location where you will live long for honoring parents how many of us have dishonored our parents yes they are foolish yes they've acted stupidly yes they may have behaved in a way but do you honor them some of us beat up our parents some of us beat up daddy and mommy we think i'm a big boy i'm a big girl i'm now married i have children i'm driving a jeep let no level of madness ever get into you that you will insult your father curse your father or your mother let me show you this proverbs 20 20 a grave consequence follow those who can curse and dishonor their fathers read it please one to read his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness whosoever can dare to curse the father and the mother that brought him to the earth now get this i'm not saying that they lead you to partition so as for as long as what they are doing is not leading you to death and leading you outside of salvation no matter what it is look at me david twice had the opportunity to kill saul is that true are you Bible students? David had the opportunity to kill Saul. He cut his robe and went away with it. He said, I will not be the one to kill God's anointed. How many times have people run their mouths talking about men of God? You sit down where you are and you are just lambasting men of God. Just talking and smiling. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother. Whether spiritual or physical. He said, they that rule well among you deserve double honor honor them that rule well when they have proven a life of integrity not human worship not fear but a sense of honor and respect i honor my parents in life and in death hallelujah some of you have elderly people come around you can see an elderly person standing in a meeting in your house and you just cross your leg and you are just balancing and smiling and say you came late please i don't want anything to inconvenience me you are there shaking your wivon up and down instead of you to stand up and say mama please you can sit down and she say no 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 my daughter insist insist say mama sit down it's not about being a virtuous woman it's about life and death life and death it's in your bible i'm not the one saying it it's in your bible say i choose to honor my father and my mother how many of you pray for your men of god how many of you pray for ministers? You stand here criticizing and shouting when you hear that a minister has a scandal. Instead of you to get to the place of prayer, you stand there saying, I always knew, I always suspected. The way I've been looking at that man. You see that? Continue. The Bible says, he that cursed his father and his mother, his lamp, his life will be taken away to obscure darkness. How many have died as a result of this honor? When a father fights his son, he loses his honor. When a son fights his father, spiritual or physical, 
he loses his life. That's why many people, sadly to say, many people who just break out foolishly because they want to start their churches or ministries, break out and jeopardize the life of the Jew, thinking God called them. Notice, very few of them ever last. Because he that dishonored his father, his lamb, Are we learning? Number what now? Number five. Walking in wisdom. The fifth key to long life. Walking in wisdom. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 to 3 verse 13 to 16. Those outside, if you are still with us, say amen. God bless you. Alright, Proverbs 3 verse 13 to 16. Walking in wisdom. Walking in wisdom. Foolishness can take a man's life. Foolishness can cut short a man's life. Walking in wisdom. Hallelujah. The Bible says, happy is the man that what? Finds wisdom. That means you have to look for it. And the man that getteth understanding. 14. For the merchandise of it are better than silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold. 15. She is more precious than rubies. And all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared with her. 16. Length of days are in her right hand. And in her left hand, riches and honor. If you embrace wisdom, it will also open you up to long life. Look at me. How many people do you know who cannot drive? Hello? They cannot drive. And then they go and carry a truck and kick it because they are trying to impress their colleagues. Are you seeing how foolishness costs short the life of people? And then they go to the road. They have given the spirit of death unrestrained access. How many people drive their cars? Foil is leaking down. Are you getting what I'm saying? Foil is leaking and they don't care. There are people who, who transfer is a gallon that is in their car or their bus. They connect it directly to the carburetor and from the from the foil is feeding the vehicle and they are there running they are smiling how many people you look at the tire of the car and you are already seeing the metal the tire is so it is the, the man is driving and holding the steering this way for the car to be straight that's the degree to which the car is disaligned and yet he plans to travel to lagos the bible says wisdom is profitable are we blessed? A man takes beer, alcohol, and tells you, can I give you a ride? He say, really? You get into the car. Wisdom. You have trusted your life to a foolish man. Are we getting blessed, please? How many things do people do? Go to many homes now and see the risky connections that they do in their homes. Directly under your bed is one wire that has been there two years. Naked wire. How many people dry their clothes on naked wires? Or at least part of it is beginning to cut. Life wire. They dry their clothes and smile. They have been doing it. I, I know how to do it. No, no, no. I'm showing you how people partner with the spirit of death to cut short their lives. You plug iron. And you just reduce it and then you are watching film and you are enraptured in the movie there are many of us the way you own your car there is something only you know how to touch you touch the wires and then something down you just touch it and you see what cas, cas, and then the thing starts you've been doing it for many years preserved by mercy you think you are wise god is speaking to you tonight how many people drive cars with the exhaust on the ground sparking you will see it sparking and there is foil directly under yet we went to school is god teaching us wisdom there are people where you keep the room where people sleep is also where you keep foil you buy one jerry can of foil 
and keep it close there are babies there there are all kinds of things people are inhaling it there are others you never eat well i'm showing you how people partner with satan to destroy their lives you never eat well there's no difference from the day god you were in poverty and now that god is even helping you there is no difference look at mechanics look at what they eat same thing one lady comes with 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 a lele or something and serves them that's what they eat every day every night they take tea in the night see that kind of unhealthy that's why the life expectancy level of africa is about is it 30 or 40 scientifically proven we're not talking of demons here we're just talking of carelessness say carelessness yes yes people do all kinds of things risky things and we think there is no problem to it very risky things it's only god that can tell the kind of risks people take every day every day there's food on fire you made yam the water is boiling you want to use your hand to carry it out can't you look for spoon if the spoon is missing can't you be patient why must you cut you you came complete why must you go back with one hand yes you will make heaven but is that a rich life is that a rich life Why will you cut short your life because of carelessness it's god speaking to us number six the sixth key to longevity is to take authority over the spirit of death infirmity and destruction we're getting deeper now we're getting to the area where we are going to pray luke 10 verse 19 death is a spirit brothers and sisters i've taught you this behold see don't be ignorant i give you power to tread upon serpents upon scorpions and over how many how many all the powers of the enemy it says and nothing shall by any means harm you i have given you if you take advantage of it and you use it appropriately he said with wise counsel make war with wise counsel make war i have given it to you death is a spirit infirmity is a spirit destruction is a spirit the spirit does not just work by default when the spirit of death is in an environment what happens is it waits and finds people that partner with its activity this is the standard operation there are a few exemptions however but the standard way the spirit of death the spirit of death is like a lion waiting for a prey are you getting what i'm saying now Let's take 10 minutes and discuss something that will be very serious under this topic. A subtopic under point 6, the reality of witchcraft. Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12. May I remind you ladies and gentlemen, if you are yet to believe that witchcraft is real. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If anyone has deceived you into the illusion that you are living in a world where there is no witchcraft. I just gave you a teaser with wicked spirits please listen to what i'm saying because it's very important the reality of witchcraft deuteronomy 18 from verse 10 to 12 let's hurry up let's just write the scriptures media copy them down and then you give it to us nahum chapter 3 verse 4 ezekiel chapter 13 verse 17 to 23 proverbs 1 11 and then psalms 10 verse 8 there are many more but we'll just stop here Give us Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12. Let's hurry up. Everyone read. Want to read. There shall be not found among you anyone that make his son or his daughter to do what? Pass through fire. Or that uses divination. Or an observer of times. An enchanter. Or a witch. Next verse. Or a charmer. Or a consulter with familiar spirits. 
or a wizard or a necromancer next verse for all that do these things are an abomination to the lord and because of these abominations the lord thy god doth drive them out before thee god himself identifies that there is a dark side to our world there are enchanters there are stargazers there are men that manipulate the constellation against the destinies of men the church has been so ignorant or we have exaggerated the reality and the existence of satan nahum chapter 3 verse 4 just look up so that um since it's projected one to read because of the multitude of the wardoms of the well-favored harlot the what mistress of witchcraft that sell what look at what she sells she can see look at her goods the way you sell pure water the mistress of witchcraft and say you can come and meet me and i will give you africa i can give you this village i can sell that soul to you it's in your bible it says she sells what nations through her wardom her fraternity with human beings that means human agents come to meet her i want access to a territory and what does she sell again families is that in your bible is that in your bible that there are witchcraft activities that sell families let's look at two scriptures quickly ezekiel 13 17 to 23 is a long reading let's rush are you still with me all right let's hurry up to 23 likewise son of man set thy face against the daughters of thy people which prophesy out of their own heart and prophesy thou against them lord god woe to the women that sow pillows to all armholes and make what handkerchiefs what version is this okay it's okay upon the head of every stature hey let me show you what the bible is saying where's my handkerchief they sew pillows and they carry handkerchiefs and drop it on the head of statues to do what to do what to hunt souls as a way of invoking the spirits of men they take on a handkerchief put it on a statue and call your name it's in your bible they have not taught you because many preachers have lied to you that is a nice world for as long as you just say god I'm here and I love you. Everything is all right. Welcome to planet Earth that has strangers that are here before our arrival. They hunt souls. He said, will ye hunt the souls of my people? They are hunting. They are everywhere. Let me tell you. Especially for Africa. Please don't pretend like you are coming from the Caribbeans. You were born an African. You belong to an African family. And you must be ready to confront our children by the grace of God will not need to go through this but for now we must pay that price are you there will he save the souls alive that come unto you next verse let's look at it quickly and will ye people oh and will ye what me among the people for handful of barley and for pieces of bread to slay what read that part to slay the souls that should not die to slay souls that should not die and to do what to save the souls that are alive the mystery of spiritual exchange that a man will see that his time is here because the wicked shall be cut short and he will say in my place i invoke this and i donate this person die in my stead it was an ancient practice that king used when they were about to kill them, they killed their children and an indignation rose and the war ended. It's still being practiced today. Men who give others for their lives. I prophesy to you, any man that invokes your name on any altar, as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, they will carry their dead body from that altar. I say it again, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that any charm, any altar that invokes your name, to die the death of another may my god visit them with judgment yeah. 
Next, next verse. Lord God, behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith ye were there to hunt the souls, to make them fly. Watch this. Look at the mystery of witchcraft. And I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt, to make them fly. in verse what now two verses left your handkerchiefs i will also tear your instruments of divination those those mediums that you use in covens that you flip and call the names of people and somebody is walking peacefully on the street all of a sudden somebody comes with a knife and kills him and they say he just died no sir he did not just die an invocation happening in the realm of the spirit And deliver my people out of your hand and they shall be no more in your hand to be haunted say amen. amen and they shall know that I am the Lord your God let's read 22 because I can't read all those ones whom I have not made sad listen and strengthen the hands of the wicked that you should not return from his wicked ways by promising him life look at this guys the summary is that this is a transaction of life and death happening in the underworld whereas there are human beings moving you are minding your business they are discussing business with your life i prophesy to you again oh lord god of israel i speak that anyone under the sound of my voice that is being manipulated by stargazers that is being manipulated by necromancers they who manipulate the constellations i declare in the name of jesus christ may those ovens catch fire may those ovens tonight catch fire may those ovens catch fire Proverbs 1 verse 11. Proverbs 1 verse 11. Shabarato Totobaya. Watch this. If they say, come with us, let us lie and wait for what? Let us do what? Let us wait for blood. Let us lock privately for the innocent without cause. Meaning they did not do anything, but we desire their blood. So we are waiting. Let's wait for the day that they want to take a step. Let's wait for when the woman takes in and then we will visit. Ah. The whole world lieth in wickedness. If you are yet to be aware, be aware this night. Write the following scriptures down. We may not have time to read them, but this is the lot of the wicked. This is what God will do with wicked people. Okay, let's look at one of them. Micah chapter 5 verse 12. But one other scripture you will write. This is the lot of witchcraft. Psalms 109 verse 17 to 18. Just write that. We won't read it. Let's read Micah chapter 5 verse 12. When the Lord opened my eyes to this scripture, I was amazed. One to read and shout amen after you read it. One to read. He said i will cut off witchcraft i will cut it off because if i don't cut it off they will cut short your life so i will cut it off is god helping us but i mean number seven quickly there are eight points i'm giving you seven activating the ministry of angels the seventh key to long life activating the ministry of angels hebrews 1 14 activating the ministry of angels angels are real they are real i have seen them i see them all the time angels are very very real are they not all ministering spirits meaning you cannot see them in the physical except god opens your eyes or he gives them a, a material body to appear before you sent forth to do what to minister to those who shall be the heirs of salvation are you an heir of salvation are you a partaker of salvation there are angels allocated to you but they never act until you activate their ministry they never act until you activate their ministry 
until you activate their ministry and you activate their ministry in the place of prayer you activate their ministry through words you release angels you release angels you activate their ministry angels are real and they help believers we look at a few scriptures they protect they preserve and they contend with wicked spirits part of the assignment of angels with respect to spiritual warfare and preservation of the saints because god knows that alone we cannot make it there is an advantage that wicked spirits have they have advantage of the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom and so he gave us angels joshua chapter 5 verse 13 to 14 don't turn there just write it joshua 5 verse 13 to 14 joshua has an, an encounter with an angel project for us project for us second kings 19 verse 35 second kings 19 verse 35 while she's doing that in the book of daniel chapter 10 when you read from verse 13 the bible says that archangel michael contended with the prince of persia he was trying to stop him from coming down to destroy daniel but daniel was activating the ministry of that angel in the place of prayer when we pray we activate angels when we speak we activate angels second kings you can see the angels standing to fight warfare for men read and it came to pass that night that the angel of the lord went out and smote in the camp of the assyrians a hundred four score and five thousand and when they rose up early in the morning behold they were all dead corpses one angel imagine how powerful they are about 185,000 people killed by one angel in one night when you activate them Jude chapter 1 verse 9 the Bible tells us that when Satan came to carry the body of Moses Satan wanted to come and carry the body of Moses and Michael the archangel again he came to contend with Satan so angels fight to preserve our bodies they fight to preserve our lives preserve our bodies preserve our destinies Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 read verse 11 one to read for he shall give what his angels charge over thee hallelujah to keep thee in all thy ways verse 12 and they shall bear thee up on their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the stone hallelujah the key to activating them is found in psalms 103 verse 20 psalm 103 verse 20 please begin to prepare the oil there's there's an anointing service that will happen here shortly very quickly quickly bring the oil for me please don't open it yet just bring it these are the instructions that the lord gave me psalms 103 verse 20 go ahead and read one to read bless the lord ye his angels that excel in strength that do what his commandment how do they walk hearkening they walk at the instance of his word they walk at the instance of his word as you pray and declare the word you activate them you activate them you activate them as you speak god's word the moment they hearken to the word they start walking until a word is spoken the angels are not activated the moment they hearken to the word they start moving hallelujah these are eight keys that the lord revealed to me in my place of retreat and he said teach my people these are the keys to long life these are the keys to long life you can live long and the lord gave me an instruction he 
said according to the mystery of the blood and the mystery of the oil anoint my people i don't do foolish things give me the oil i'm not one of those men of god that just does things impulsively and the lord gave me an instruction he said when i was done with that retreat i should come back and based on two scriptures the lord gave me isaiah 10 27 something will happen in this place tonight and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken away from your shoulder it shall come to pass that those spells of enchanters and stargazers and they that hunt your soul unto death it shall come to pass that by a mystery as revealed of the lord of sabaoth the avenger of men that it shall come to pass that at the instance of his word that it shall be taken from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing because of the anointing there are charms that must be broken because of the anointing there are people sentenced to death sentenced to accidents sentenced to untimely death by the mystery by the mystery of the oil the second scripture exodus chapter 12 please please everyone turn there i sense the anointing of the spirit very strongly right now please turn there this is the instruction that the lord gave me make sure everyone is participating right now no matter how far those following us online they can get oil if, if they have access to verse 7 please verse 7 and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door post of the houses wherein they shall eat it says they shall take the blood and put it on the lintel go to verse 12 for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt both man and beast and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute vengeance I am the Lord this is what the Lord told me in the secret place he said I'm arising as a mighty man the blood of the innocent Christ before me that's what the Lord told me and the Lord said a destroyer is going to move across the nations and the Lord told me vengeance there will be vengeance upon witchcraft i had the lord and he revealed this to me my eyes was open in the spirit and i saw like a cloud moving across territories and the lord told me by the mystery of preservation you preserve my people that's why i'm carrying this oil is serving both as oil and spiritually as the mystery of the blood rise up on your feet and begin to blast in tongues thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her day the set time inside and outside pray hallelujah can we have the plates please very quickly lift your voice and say after me in the name of jesus come on say it like a believer in the name of jesus every power of witchcraft manipulating my life and my destiny by the mystery of the blood i command judgment upon you lift your voice and pray Protos 
Shakata, Shakata, I shall not die, but live to declare. Pray, Shakata, Shakata, Roto Shakata, Roto Shoto Lekete, Empros Kotos. family is the cause of hardship nobody ever finds anything easy in your family you are born again you pray in tongues but until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering everybody must walk like an elephant for everything some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please listen to me. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I want you to get angry tonight. One of the things that we must all break. The Lord was ministering this to me. Is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn. And they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up. There are some of us what must leave your family this night is the plague of death. Some after two, two years or three, three years or by September or a particular month, somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick. Patterns of wickedness. When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally. You will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here? Our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. 
many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets they have collected their money plundered them did everything nothing to show for it we hear the chains falling tonight the waters will be stirred and I tell you when the waters is stirred these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally financially academically if you have been carrying an inherited disease don't say it's like that in our family. This night, you must begin to contend. I can't remain SS simply because everyone is like that. I can't remain AS because everybody is like that. I can't have eye problem because everybody has it. Get angry. Shake it, ba 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 ba. Bring them, bring them, bring them in. She ra na 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 mo so na na na. She ra ba la ni re ra ra ba si. Oh, para da 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 Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside listen there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside hallelujah at the count of three you will shout jesus that fire devils will begin to cry and jump out just those outside are you ready now thank you jesus thank you for your power to heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake the cartoons. Rekete te 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 te. So God so praise. Just those outside, the power of God is falling. I command devils, come out, come out, come out. I command powers, demon spirits. I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, the angels of God are moving everywhere. Outside, the power of God is shaking every demonic hole. Acts of witchcraft, yokes, curses. Those outside, lift your hands again. Lift your hands. I just want you to focus on the screen. Those of you outside, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again. 
no power will hide right now one two three go 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 Devils, yokes, bondages, by the fire, Please help the ushers if they need help. Help the ushers if they need help. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere. I say right now. And right now. Miracles. The power of God will move mightily inside this place right now and shake foundations. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. As you shout that name, Jesus. No instruments. At the count of three, no instruments. Just shout that name, Jesus. And the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shake it, take it, rekotopos, embrebekete, lekoto soparia. The fire of God is coming down right now, mightily. Shake it, mekoto sota. Take a prayer staba. Some pray take it. Take it. Bring them out. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ka break it. Le boss. Em break it. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Separate Man pray both so protos. E break it. Le boss. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Se protos so paka. Ma prateko sopai empreto stipali ala baba 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 Se se kete baba 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 Se proto soprake de balara ba Hallelujah This roll lift your hands The angel of the Lord is standing in this room. I pray right now. Every activity of witchcraft. According to what the Lord is showing me. Those in this room. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I want you to shout. Jesus right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 Shina <laughs> 
Outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside, at the top of your voice, after the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there By the blood I bring a separation I bring a separation By the blood now Now, 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 now. I bring a separation By the blood By the blood The of the blood the mystery of the blood. 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 The mystery of the Bring the lady. Bring her here. Atoketeka, 
Popale, Popale, Soriato, Ajata, Prati, Pata, Pata, Suatebria, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve is alive. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the lady. Bring her. But the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. Out. Now. Leave her. Out. Never return again. Now all the devils here. At the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. One, two, so go, 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 out, 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 out. You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. Be free. I set you free. Okay, let her go now. Leave this little girl out, devil of darkness. Out, come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out. 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 Marital delay. Give me a hand. With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. 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 Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. This serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go.
Listen, some of you are not out here, but there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? Bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibro. I cause that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zigo Palada Garanda Shia Kataga do Siza Lagataga Branda Sila Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandekar Sete Lamantaria. You can't move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place at the count of three, I command the devils be gone right now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. Every kind of delay. Every kind of delay. Where is the woman? I, where is the woman I spoke about? One mama that was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. 
Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is, this is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Edo. Edo State? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now, hold on. Why are you? I want to, it's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when find you... myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Madam, look at me. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of it. Eh? Is you are the one that brought her. Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain at, used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do. Check. I was already healed. Yeah. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain, why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything we touch with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some me church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He just say different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm the king. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, oh, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into a university. Have you written jam? No, not You are yet. writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. 
we give you admission in this place now the god who is bigger than any registrar bigger than any senate you will come back and stand right here and testify you have it in the name of jesus christ now no power will stop you i use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones i tell you the truth and i lie not see listen prophecy every power that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission receive your admission i provoke it by the power of the holy ghost receive your admission well, listen whether you know what you are writing or not may my god hold your hands that hand that Ufese, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your heart. Listen, many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Give me a hands. She was coming to fight me. No. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go now! Don't waste our time here. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne. On high and throne on high and throne. Help me worship us. Be thou and throne and throne on high and throne on high. Marriage. We are going to visit the issue of marriage right now. Please, I want you to listen. I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace. Sister, look at me. Just look at my eyes. You must release her right now. It's time for you to go. Out you go. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I set you free. Let it leave you now. 
Let it leave you now. Whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. And all I want you to do is just to shout amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name In the name that is above all names i pray right now by the power of the holy ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of elohim right now as you shout jesus they will depart from you now one two go Every marital delay. Go, 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 go. Let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to you. May your life partner come into your life. I prophesy. I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like ulcer you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly Come and let God seal your miracle. The Lord just minister to me. Please check, check. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick right now. Every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus. God has killed a lady. A lady. Is that the lady? another one come come you've been healed when god speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is he working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay, i just felt a pain leave my chest. you felt something leave you yeah. do what you couldn't do before I felt pain in my chest. completely hold my hands never returns in the name of jesus christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How long? For I've how long? I've been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. The drugs is even, in, is even in my bag right now. The drugs, you go and bring yes. it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on. Are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names hold the drugs just hold it hold it look at me lord in the name of jesus christ you are perfecting her she will not need these drugs again in the name of jesus christ check yourself god is healing more people with this kind of pain if it's happening to you come out right now come out god is healing people ulcers ulcers are going right now Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. 
I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past been, two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. I try to breathe, it will hold. It will. When you try me. to breathe, it will hold it you. To hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I'll be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe, do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six, six months. months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this um, peptic ulcer since. Since 2006. Yes, and recently. Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure, confirmed. Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again, and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we are outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt. You felt something. Yes. That so wicked said, thing that has sat there, he must pack his load and leave this night. I felt. Hold my hand. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle, run out here. Even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command... Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now. Be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus. Long sightedness. Short sightedness. Glaucoma. Every eye condition. Be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourself. God is doing miracles now. Check yourself. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth in any part of your body, what's wrong with him? Eye problem. Bring him. God is healing people. Look at, look at a miracle. Look at a big miracle. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at what is happening to these people. Look at eyes are opening. Come on, give Jesus praise. Eyes are opening. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Every kind of eye condition. Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's I can see. Completely? Yes. Who brought him here? We came together. Mama? Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your... No, no, let, let him lay his hands on your eyes. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? 
uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he couldn't cure me, that she go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa, local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Jesus healed his eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus. Bow to the name of Jesus. I command his eyes to open right now. Open right now. Please check him. Test him. See, test him. Test him. Just test him if he's seen anything. Can you say, don't be afraid. This is a factory. Just test him. Sister, stand up. What is the... Eh? You saw light. What are you seeing? Oh my God. Look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged. Huh? Can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light I saw and it went. You saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. So I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up. Alright? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been in my using glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay, you all know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now. Roommate, when we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her? So that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A and sharp I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under the yes. anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until is, you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are all those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Who brought yes, this boy? Okay. Uncle How are you? Fine, sir. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone? Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay. What happened to you? As Please as make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as, as I fell down, I don't come here. Now... I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving, and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Uh, Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. You mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? He's, he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to itch you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? To the shame of the devil. Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else? Please. Only eye conditions. Okay. Praise God. 
I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over Where there. Where you were standing there? Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I... And it's gone. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this. I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me what and today like yeah or something? today i was in class and my i was we were reading my friend was not asking me what's wrong with me i'm reading the word i'm mixing the word i like it started since this year and she's like okay i need glasses i'm like i don't need glasses oh when you are reading yes the, you will be skipping yes, the I'll words either skip the word i'll go blank and i don't know why what happened to you now when we we're praying i laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye and then a light just just hit me and my hands touched Light again. You see the light? My eyes got very hot. And then Your I eyes got open. hot. Yes. And you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51. Just verse 1 and 2. Let's and see. And came to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hand, and to the whole of the Pit, whence ye are dig, look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I and increased, increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's, I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness so in your eyes. So when I went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly pterygium. That is, I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went, I went and what got them. Right now? So but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought you. Oh, your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? My eye used to Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh-huh. I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, so my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother, we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So, sometimes I'll, my eye would, would be itching me. I was okay. like... Start feeling sleepy, but now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially if you came here from outside Zaria. Please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Line them up very quickly. Please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. is awesome. He can move that mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourselves. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. 
I am parting with this sickness. From the rain, say, My God, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened, forever He will reign. My God is awesome, my God is awesome. yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you will be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ.
with him. He has what? What's the wait? Hold on. What's the issue? Yes, with my bike. And the leg broke. Wait. You don't try to lift him. This guy had an accident. Look at me. Since when? I think a week ago now. You can't walk. The the nurse bandaged my leg. Then what happened? I started. I couldn't walk very well again, so I removed the bandage. Why did you remove the bandage? Because pulse was going out. Pulse was going out of the leg. Yes. Where is it? Ah, goodness. Look at this. Look at me, brother. Yes, sir. Look at me. He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. He's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now. Who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fixed this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't. Don't. Just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's shocked looking at his leg. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what. Hold on. See the guy. What is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying up. You are feeling it now. Yes. Everybody, clear the way for him. Rush. Go and come back. Walk. Go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy. Could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy, he's crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with him. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise. For that which you are doing in our midst this leg dries up in the name of jesus christ my god is awesome he can move mountains keep me in the
my God is awesome. He is. He's awesome. Injection. It spoiled the leg. Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it. Mm, except with age. Except? It's an age. Try to move it. I can move it. Just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it. Yeah? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Just please. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy, be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Liver, Lord, she's totally free. You are the great and mighty God, so greatly to be praised, beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. The the you world. are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. Please bring the request. You quick, are quick, the joy of the whole world. Time. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please so usher us quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, right? You one, quickly. The joy of the whole
Is anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on, fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every Miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues is that okay please go ahead you do wonders in me Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, O oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, O oh God, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray that every request here be turned into testimonies. Let there be deliverances, O God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Sara praki jali mazata la broki jili bana zata ya. Rika lu jali kra zata ta pata shitaba. A God of all flesh jara pakata shilia. Lezari ka pata sha we declare. Lazata pata sha. The one that parted the Red Sea. Raka pata shitalaba. Ribi zuri brani ne kocho shitalaba. Do the impossible right now. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. You break upon the rings and you part it into two. Do the impossible right now. Behold the requests of your people. Behold their heart desires. Let there, let there be miracles now. Intervene now. Intervene now. Intervene now. In the name of Jesus. We declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as a, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare. That with this request, oh God, let, the, let there be possibility right now. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. Miracles. Open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus, let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on her chest. Out now. release her and go now hallelujah and he said to me prophesy and I prophesied as I was commanded not as I wanted I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound a rattling sound and bones began to be joined to bones and he said unto me son of man prophesy to the four winds and I prophesied O wind breathe upon the slain and the wind came and breathed upon the slain and there stood an exceeding great army I want to prophesy over your life I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you father because you always hear me when I call Lord as I prophesy over your people let it not be a ritual I pray nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen therefore I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers may they back this word and bring it to pass let this word become your word, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. 
Hallelujah. And Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And the prophet said in Samaria, By this time tomorrow, by this time tomorrow, the Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. By a prophet, he brought them out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. It says, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. I'm not singing. Just concentrate. My God, would you step in and do the impossible? Do the impossible. Change the unchangeable. Change the unchangeable. My God, step in to the impossible. To the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now. Let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost. Restoration now. Restoration now, restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive restoration. Everything you have lost, for whatever reason it was lost, I command restoration of opportunities in the name of Jesus. Restoration of destiny help us. Restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten. Now, hallelujah, every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names. Be cancelled now. 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 Cancel now. In the book of Job, he says. In six things will he deliver you, yea, in seven things. And one of them is the scourging tongues of men. When men sit down and make enchantment in the name of the God that I serve, every cause, every pronouncement over your life, because now, because now, because now, because now, then the Brady shall a cabaro Satan about for he has broken the gates of brass and he has caught. 
the iron in sunder. My God, I pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names. If God be in this place, I command those two leaf gates be open now. Be open now. I prophesy be open now by the power of prophecy be open now everyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above every other name is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they brought Mephibosheth a man who was not qualified but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David I pray by the favor of God wherever you need favor for jobs I prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west I command jobs. Every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward, may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come i speak from the heavens in the name of jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now i command break records Break records, set new records, do what has not been done. I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted. The Bible says, Withhold not good from who, him who is due when it is within your power to do so, it is within their power to bring the promotion. Therefore, I pray in the name that is above all names, we enforce that promotion now. We enforce it now. Everything that has died in your life, hear ye the word of the Lord. Come alive now. Dead relationships come alive now. I pray for your academics. For he has given me the tongue of the learned that I may know how to speak the word in due season to him that is weary. He said, my tongue is the pen of the, right, the ready writer. My heart has indicted a good matter. Yea, I speak of excellent things. Daniel was made 10 times better. He said, I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say. That when you stand before them, you shall not think of what to say. For in that very hour, it will be the spirit of your father speaking. I pray, everyone called doll. I change that testimony now. everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of Jesus.
and everyone that has vowed that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of jesus christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow i speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of jesus christ let the favor of god that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers i prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus may that favor hit you where you are may that favor change you may it cause men to bless you hallelujah and i pray may the presence of god go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of god pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ Every dead spiritual life. Every dead prayer life. Every dead word study life. In the name that is above all names. Come alive now. Receive the fire for prayer. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. The fire for prayer. Take it. The spirit of prayer and supplication. Take it. Let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of Jesus. Grace to pray. Grace to study. Grace to understand. Hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head when I cry for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. My head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying, I'm tired of my life. 
I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me. Some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord. Please listen. But tonight Jesus is calling. You may have a Christian name. That's not the same as salvation. You may even be a pastor. That's not the same as salvation. Tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely. I'm going to make an altar call. Just one to five. I want you to run from outside, from inside. Please run like your life depends on it. You are saying, Lord, I am tired. Take it. Take it. It is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Uh -huh. Just come as you stand here, just begin to pray and say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family members stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friends stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, take everything. Take over. I'm tired of living my life my own way. I give to you. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you for coming. Don't make this an emotional decision. Mean it from the depths of your heart. No matter what you have done wrong, no matter how you've lived your life, I want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from Emmanuel's veins. And that fountain flows to bless you. It flows to wash you. It flows to cleanse you. Lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart. Please, you are not reciting a poem. This is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you. Unable to help myself. I ask you to help me. Cleanse me. Wash me. With your precious blood. I truly repent of my sins. In the name of Jesus, I receive eternal life into my spirit from today. No backsliding. Some of you, as you are praying this, I tell you, the power of the devil will be broken. All of the chains. You're going to say, Satan, I denounce you right now. Take your hands and live my life. I declare that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. The Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory. I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life. From today, I'm sold out and totally surrendered. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, bless these ones. You have brought them, use them mightily. Let the power of sin be broken in their lives. Let the power of the grave be broken. Let the power of the flesh be broken. Anoint them and use them mightily, O oh God. Let this not be a, an emotional decision. Let this be a genuine decision. In the name of Jesus, make mighty men out of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. I want you to look at me. 
I congratulate you for this great decision. Everyone here made this decision at one point. Now I'd like you to just follow our ushers. There's a wonderful sister waving her hand. I want you to just follow them. They'll have, they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow. God bless you. Please follow them. Follow them very quickly, please. All those worshiping with us for the first time, if this is your first time here at Koinonia, we love you. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing. God bless you. If this is your first time, wherever you are, just run and come. There is a special blessing for you. Don't wait for your neighbor. You are the first person. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Thank you. Thank you for coming. We celebrate you. We honor you. We thank you. Keep coming. Don't stop. We have a prayer for you and we have a blessing. And all those who took the pain to invite anybody here, may God invite all the blessings you need in your life. I'm very serious. I'm not just saying it. If anyone came here as a result of your invitation, I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy upon their lives, Koinonia. Bless them. We speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with prosperity. We bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit. We bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding. We bless you with grace. We bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you follow the ushers. They'll have your details. They'll welcome you more on our behalf. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you for coming. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.